Okay, welcome back folks and let's start talking about um, setting up your VS code for kernel um, development. So I have given you um, a link to a GitHub gist that I created that contains this file ccpppproperties.json. Um, it contains all the directories that you want to um, look into to um, find all of the stuff that you need. Um, in terms of header files and all of that. So to help VS Code search in there and figure out exactly what um, it should be doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. So one way to do it is I'm gonna go to the raw version, select and copy. And I'm, I'm gonna open um, my milestone two or milestone one solution. So it's gonna be in read, write, okay. So it's going to take a little bit to load. All right, so now we have these um, three files. Um, and if you have plugins installed, you might have this um, VS Code thing uh, show up dot VS Code. If it's not, you should create it by doing new folder um, and then you name it dot VS. It has to start with a dot and then dot VS Code. Um, for me, it's already been created, so I'm not going to do that. So what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to create a new file. And then we're going to call it C, CPP, I think it's properties, um, yep, let's rename it, uh, rename, C, CPP, properties, dot, JSON. So we're going to take the code that we copied and paste this code in here. Now, there is a small thing. Um, this is not going to work for me because um, I'm using a different kernel version. Uh, for you, if you are using the VM that we provided you with, um, you should be able to um, you should be able to use this. Uh, excuse me, by de by default, right? So um, once you set this up, if you go to project, then um, let me actually um, fix the kernel version, um, and I'll I'll get back to you um, to show you exactly how it happens. Okay, so I have fixed that. Now you can see that all the squiggly lines are gone. Um, and let's take a look at our project.c. You can see now that it's no longer complaining that it couldn't find any of these things. Let's say I want to call, um, I don't know, let's do kmalloc. And you can see um, it, it's starting to um, use what, what they call IntelliSense to give you suggestions um, on what you, sh you should do, right? So the size and the flags and so on. Right, so um, that's how um, I, I recommend that you use this for your project if you wanna develop in um, VS Code. Um, the only thing that sometimes it might not be very stable, um, so you might get missed um, IntelliSense cases, but for if you're really annoyed like me of, of squiggly lines and it, it, it telling you that you have um, errors, then definitely just copy and paste this file in your um, uh, in your .vs code folder, and um, you should be good uh, to go. All right, that's all I have for um, this logistics setup. Um, I will see you in class on Monday. Over and out.